huge mess and a huge backup on the southbound five this morning. Boy, I'll say overnight <laughs> a big rig crashed and burst into flames in Sun Valley, right near Penrose Street. We have live team coverage on this with CBS 2's Cara Finstrom and our, of course, traffic reporter Stephanie Simmons. We begin with Cara live at the scene. Yeah, Jeff, take a look. You can see that there are two lanes of traffic open here right now. CHP tells us they're doing their best, hoping to get the rest of the freeway open by noon. That's their goal because they want to get all that back up off of the freeway and area streets. It was not the Friday light commute folks hoped to see. This traffic jam on the I-5 went on for hours. I heard it on TV this morning, and then I said, uh, I'm not taking that route. And this is why. Early this morning, huge flames consumed a semi-truck that crashed near Penrose Street in Sun Valley. You see the driver here being taken to the hospital. He got out okay. A driver told CHP officers he hit something, lost control, and rammed into the guardrail. The impact ripped the cab from the rest of the truck and split the side. The truck's load, shredded cheese, flew all over the freeway. Diesel fuel spilled over it, and the whole mess ignited. That's very messy, very messy. <laughs> Folks sleeping in a homeless encampment near the freeway were jolted. One woman tells us the driver was either sleeping or knocked out by the impact. That guy in the, in the truck, sleeping. My friend said, come on, wait, go, wait, go. And come on, two minutes, the truck go light up, boom, very bad. Detectives say they will look into all possible causes for the crash and long closure. Another part of the holdup was up above the freeway. This pedestrian walkway, it was never shut down, but because the semi actually struck the base of the bridge, engineers needed to fully check it out. I took San Fernando Road, and it was pretty congested. It was? Yes, so yes. How much, how much time did you end up adding? Uh, about 20 minutes. John Niblett says fortunately for him, that wasn't a problem. He's on drop-off today and just got a little more time with his grandson. And you can see all the dust there behind us. That is from a sweeper that it's work right now. Uh, Jeff Sharon back here live. We can tell you that the big challenge crews are facing is getting the sticky cheese that melted and hardened off that freeway. Oh, I can't even imagine. Cara, yeah. thank you. All right, <laughs> let's go to Stephanie Simmons, who's here with an update on the traffic situation on that freeway. Steph? Less fondue, more fondant, sounds like in this situation. Let's take a look at the aftermath since it's been shut down since 345. Uh, for the last couple of hours, they did alleviate traffic, opening two of those lanes, but I just measured this back up for you on that South 5. Once again, this is at Penrose. It is still three miles deep. A lot of people still taking the 170 South as an alternate. So Laurel Canyon is wide open right now going south. Use that for now.